So, just got done seeing my um, my trainer, and uh, you know, assessed the injuries. Got a really crazy active release therapy on it. Um, screaming like crazy. Filmed it. If you want to see the video, leave a comment down below, and you can see me screaming in pain for about 10 minutes. But um, so I'll talk about the Newport 10K. And I gotta say, when I ran 30 minutes, I placed top three American. And at the end of the day, it was not a PR, and I woke up, you know, that morning still injured. The Achilles is still hurts. The calf, the Achilles, it's bad. And, you know, I go to warm up, and I'm like, I'm running through this. And, you know, I didn't, I didn't think about anything else. I'm like, you know, I'm running through this. It's going to be a good day. And in the, at the end, you know, I at 5K to go, uh, actually, let me get back. You know, I ended up running faster on that course than I did last year. So it is a course PR, but it's not a road PR. Now I'm going to start going back to uh, the pain that I was in. We'll go back the night before. So it started, you know, the night before, and I'm getting muscle stim. Here we go, electric stim. Oh my, a little up more, a little up more. Up more? Yeah, go up a little more. All right. Oh god, this is not gonna be good. Oh, better not electrocute me to death. I'm gonna die. And when you finish, Nick, you just have to put these back on this thing, okay? That's what an agent does. The athletes uh, not doing so good. Oh god. Zap me up. God, here we go. Here we go. Very low, very low, very low, very freaking. You don't feel anything, right? So. After the muscle stim, um, you know, we got onto that line, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm coming here to put on a show because I'm the top guy in New York along with Brendan Martin in the race and race goes off, we go out, good pace, nothing crazy and yeah, as you can see from the video, a lot of turns in this race and right there, you know, I'm stepping on the, almost stepping on the camera on the course right there, but uh, uh tough. It was, you know, it was rough. A lot of turns and a lot of left turns too. And that's my bad leg. 5k to go. Drop the hammer. I was like, you know what? It's my foot. My Achilles is really acting up right here. And I'm like, you know what? Let's go. And drop the hammer right here. You see in the video. And start taking the lead. I start pushing. And then my leg, the Achilles, the left side just kind of gives out. No power is coming from it. You know, I kind of lose the. Uh, the pack a little bit. Um, it was only a couple guys at that point. We started off with 15 guys. Now we're like five there. And then um, you know, I'm, I'm just hanging in. I'm just pushing. You know, I, you know, I gotta finish. You gotta finish. You gotta go. You gotta go. And I come through, get into that finish line, making another move on third place, and you know, a well, third American spot. And I'm right there. I'm catching. I'm catching. But my leg is not delivering any power. I'm not having my kick. I'm not. You know, and I'm just hanging in the race, and it's all coming from here. And so when you're in pain, everything is hurting, whether it's injury or not, you just gotta keep pushing, you're pushing, you, you, you're so close, you're so close, you're almost getting it, and you still come up short on another place, but you finish the race, and you know, that's what counted. Especially if there's money in the race, especially if you get a couple thousand dollars <laughs> at the end with that place, you know, you, you don't drop out, you stay in, and everyone's watching, you're on camera, you're on TV, all the all the local guys that know me they're watching and you know like, you know they don't want to see me drop out i don't want to drop out and i'm just there to go and boom i come through that line and i basically just kind of collapse a little bit i'm down on my hands i'm like holy cow it hurts and then get up uh, and i cool down <laughs> i limp a mile after needless to say i could not walk for about a day i had to lie in bed till basically last night did my one mile run because I'm on a four year streak now, boom, and wow, it's windy here, and I can't even see my train today, so that's the race, you, you keep going, because, you know, I come to the line and I say, you know what, I'm going to fuck shit up today, <laughs> excuse me, but, you know, you get, you have to get it done, you gotta never give up, and as soon as you give up, your whole running career is over, you know, I'm not the best guy out there, I'm not the most talented, but I'm the guy who doesn't give up. You know, I'm the guy who doesn't give a shit about anything else but my goal. So, you go out there, you run, 
enjoy the pain. I love to hurt. I learn to hurt. And when you love to learn to hurt, you, lo you learn to love to live life. So, because everything in life, the good things in life, you have to work for and they're going to hurt. And when they, the more they hurt, the more you're going to love them, the more you're going to learn to live life. And that's what running is for me, learning to live life, enjoying the beautiful things, traveling. The sweetest, beautiful things in life are the sweet fruits I eat. It's sweet fruit for and free, the fresh air. And I want to live my life like that. I want to inspire everyone else to enjoy what the earth, what life basically is. Never stop running, always inspiring. Bada bing, bada boom.